Alright, what's up guys? Yours truly, Bama Breezy, out here in Albuquerque, New Mexico at Iron Soul Gym. One of my favorite gyms to come train at. They've got everything you could possibly imagine if you're a power lifter, if you're a strongman, there's some strongman implements here, and there's even some machines and stuff just in case you're trying to get a sick pump thing that you could possibly need to get ready for your competition. And there's always plenty of stuff in here, different kinds of racks. You've got the heavy duty Rogar 3s, you've got the combo, like I said, the combo squat racks, there's dumbbells all the way up to the heavy boys. You really got everything in this gym and it's one of my favorites because it doesn't discriminate against that. This is strictly a powerlifting gym. This, it's welcome to everyone. There's something that everybody could really enjoy and benefit from. The owners are awesome, Eric and April. They're always really friendly, keep the gym very clean and safe. Highly, highly recommend. Check it out. One of my favorite implements that's overlooked oftentimes is a seal row and a seal row bench. They've got the camber bar, camber bar and the seal row bench. One of my favorites. A couple plate load machines. That way you can get your pump. You know where I am at. And then you've got deadlift platforms galore. This wall, that wall, and all the racks so that way you'll never have to wait for a piece of equipment. Cable crossover along the dumbbells and a nice good selfie mirror over there with good light above. Always light above your mirrors. That's the hack. Tell me about the gym. Oh God, uh, the gym has been open since 2015. Mm -hmm. We're on our fifth year now. Um, we started, this is our third location. The first time we started it, um, Eric was in a government job. He mm -hmm. hated it. We asked what he wanted to do. Um, he wanted to open a powerlifting gym. So we got on Craigslist and started getting equipment. Got a uh, storage shed. Uh, filled up two of them and then we finally made the leap of opening it and it's just expanded from there. So the lobby, mm -hmm. it was the size of our first gym, mm. um, so which is kind of interesting. And then out there we pretty much have everything we could possibly need for powerlifting and to accomplish their goals. What makes Iron Soul different from other gyms? I own it. <laughs> what I'm told is that our community uh, is far and above what you find at most powerlifting gyms. I think it's unique in that we have numerous world record holding powerlifters here, dozens of people with elite totals, um, but at the same time, extremely welcoming to people that just started powerlifting yesterday and are only using the bar. There's no distinction. There's no distinction for me if you bench press 600 pounds or you bench press 35 pounds. Uh, everyone gets treated the same here, and I think that's unique. I think a lot of times gyms sort of cater to the big and the strong and the famous, uh, and we don't care. We like you. We like you just the same, but I like this 80-year-old lady that has osteoporosis and can only curl five-pound dumbbells. I like her just the same, um, and I think that's unique, and I think that's important, too. I think uh, Ed told me one time that we have fostered an environment that encourages people to learn and to get strong. That means everything. I, I used to have more like a 10 pound. I used to have more like a 10 pound. Okay. But I, 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 need, I need the partner to go through it because it's been so long. Let's go next door. I'll go next door. Let's Demon has stripped back your memories and set you up to take the fall. We're going to swing in a six count. Um, so, six count is the first Sinawale of uh, Filipino martial arts. Ed is really good at it. He's doing a standard, meaning he's going for both the neck and the I'm knee. Not, I haven't done it in a while, so if I fuck up, <laughs> um, it's my teacher's fault. That's true. It's always my fault. Of course, That's all right. I'll take it. Oh! <laughs> 
of cranks and chokes through uh -huh. the jaw because there's so many nerves through here um, and it just hurts as well as the fact that you're dying. Right. So you're okay. going to come here, here into here. the corner. Now, hand on my head and think of push my, pushing my head over. I'm pushing your hand over. So, uh, elbow here. to the elbow here. And then grab oh. my head. So there's your crank. Now pull back. Oh. Ooh.